four decades ago, doctors Lewis Brown, Hugh Gloucester, and Lewis Sullivan dreamed of a minority-serving institution, a medical school that would educate and train primary care doctors who would serve their communities and underserved populations in Georgia and throughout the country. Their dream was realized when the School of Medicine at Morehouse College was established in 1975. The idea of the Morehouse School of Medicine was really quite entrancing. Hugh Gloucester, the president of Morehouse College, thought this was indeed a brilliant idea because they said if there was any place in the country where another black medical school should be located is in Atlanta. There was a shortage of black physicians. Louis Brown had been a member of a committee that pointed out that Georgia had 28% of its citizens who were African American, but only 2% of the doctors in Georgia at that time. So he urged the development of this school to address both those issues, the health of blacks as well as the shortage of black physicians. From its humble beginnings as a two-year medical college housed in temporary trailers, Morehouse School of Medicine is a top producer of African American physicians, researchers, and healthcare professionals. This is an institution with a very specific purpose. People who come here are attracted to this institution uh, because of that focus. And that purpose being to serve the underserved, to make sure uh, that the least among us who are in the greatest need are the ones who get our greatest gifts in terms of the quality of health that we can deliver. With a charter class of 24 promising students in a basic two-year medical sciences program, Morehouse School of Medicine has grown to a four-year fully accredited program with over 300 diverse, academically focused MD, graduate, and public health students. 40 years later, MSM remains true to its original mission, not simply training students to treat the physical condition, but demanding that they bear a moral commitment to helping their communities a critical philosophy in improving the health of all Americans. This place puts in people the kinds of things they will need to be successful in life, be successful as a professional, and make a difference in their communities. Uh, what I reflect on is the people here, the values that they embrace, the commitment to a single purpose, and that is improving the lives of, of individuals and families in the communities, especially those in vulnerable uh, areas of this country. A relatively young institution, MSM's legacy of national leadership is unprecedented. Notable alumni and faculty include two United States Surgeon Generals, one Secretary of Health and Human Services, and six members of the Distinguished Institute of Medicine. MSM alumni continue to make meaningful contributions in primary care, medical education, government service, and HIV AIDS research programs throughout the nation and in Africa. Research at Morehouse School of Medicine is, is central to who we are. And our focus areas of research includes cancer, cardiovascular disorders, neuroscience, and HIV AIDS and other infectious diseases. Morehouse Healthcare is home to more than 200 physicians who are the cornerstone of Morehouse School of Medicine's firm commitment to compassionate patient care in the city of Atlanta. MSM physicians also provide professional services to six Atlanta facilities, including Grady Health System, the largest health system in the state of Georgia and one of the largest in the country. Morehouse School of Medicine's ascension as a key influencer and thought leader is evidenced by its many partnerships and alliances with internationally recognized powerhouse organizations and think tanks, including the CDC, the National Institutes of Health, and the Kennedy Forum. I believe that partnerships are critical for sustainability. Uh, we have always tried to take that approach. We wrote a book on community-based partnerships for research. So I'm very pleased with the new partnership that we have with the Kennedy Forum, which uh, established uh, with the Morehouse School of Medicine, the Kennedy Center for Mental Health Research and Policy. It's a tremendous opportunity, which we are pursuing vigorously. 
The two remarkable things that I will want Morehouse School of Medicine to accomplish over the next couple of years will really be expanding our resources. I'm talking about our people, increasing our class size as we are on a path to do. The second thing that I would like to see us accomplish will be what we've been doing over the last 40 years, working toward the elimination of health disparities. And now we're speaking of creating health equity. Under the leadership of the Institute's first female president, Dr. Valerie Montgomery Rice, Morehouse School of Medicine is on a path of unprecedented and transformational growth with a bold vision, leading the creation and advancement of health equity, a natural evolution of the Founders' original vision. We are a young institution, but we are committed to the advancement and creation of health equity, and we recognize that it cannot be done overnight. We're ready to put in not just the next 40 years, but the next 100 years, because we know that if we achieve our goal and are able to realize this vision, Morehouse School of Medicine will be surrounded by communities, will be surrounded by individuals who have realized their optimal state of health. And that is what we are about here at this great institution. My hope for the future, I think, is a shared hope. It's shared by our students, by our faculty and staff, by our board of trustees, and the leadership, starting with Dr. Valerie Montgomery Rice. And that is to make a difference. We are doing that now, but we want to do it in a big way. We're a small institution, but we've got big hearts. And we think that the work that we're doing can touch a nation. We are on a mission. Morehouse School of Medicine has the capacity to be the leader in this space. And I would hope that 40 years from now, there will be no question that the recognition goes not to an individual, but because a vision was forged that was informed by multiple stakeholders, and that we all worked as a team to accomplish the goal.